Is what it is. Alright. <clears throat> and Shalom, Shalom. Alright, we are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. We come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall and destruction of this wicked sin of kingdom called America, aka Babylon the Great, aka Sodom and Gomorrah, aka Egypt. Alright? Alright, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekarkadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of earth pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. You know, and this is to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? It's time to turn back to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? You know, before America is destroyed, man, because as you see right now, we got the, uh, the elections going on. Okay? Uh, really uh, uh, violent. Uh, intentions are being stirred up in the earth right now, man. Okay, you know, and that's the time that we're living in right now, man. All right, Co wars uh, and rumors of wars, commotions, man. All right, you know, people partying and bullshitting while this is happening, but the Lord is gonna come like a thief in the night. Where to get these scriptures? So we'll start off with Matthew 24, Matthew 24th chapter. You know, going to the times that we're living in. All right, what are the people gonna be doing? All right, near the near the end. Are, you know of this uh, place America and return of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know. It's Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse six. Mm -hmm. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. And ye shall hear wars, okay, and rumors of wars. Okay, our wars going over in the Middle East. Okay, rumors of wars. You know, a uh, little uh, secrets, little information here and there going out. Okay, even wars you want to hear on American soils, man. Okay, race wars, a uh, civil war. Okay, class wars. All right, rumors of that, people putting up videos saying that they ready, okay, you know? See that you be not troubled. See that you be not troubled, man. All right, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord as well, we be a part of that number, all right? They're not worried, man, okay? <laughs> hey, and it's a spirit, man. You're going to be hearing a lot of those sounds, man, okay? Those sounds like that, man, is going to be the time when the nuclear missiles actually drop on this place, man, you know? So that's the spirit of the Lord. Wars, rumors of wars, a lot of uh, death and destruction is going to be going out, man, all right? See that ye be not troubled, mm -hmm. for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All these things must come to pass, you know. Race rights, you know, people are uh, uh, killing each other, you know, uh, anarchy, all right. Matter of fact, that reminds me, we were in actually in like in a little movie, uh, uh, what's called The Purge Election Year, you know. Yeah. We're, we're in that right now, man, okay. And, you know, during that election year, a lot of things popped off, man, okay. So we're in the same thing that's going on, and, you know, uh, depending on who wins the uh, uh you know that uh that presidency so to see or selection okay you know uh, uh either way it's gonna be a, a chaos in the streets man okay whether trump loses or or if he wins man okay for nation shall rise against nation shall nation shall rise against nation america versus russia all right you just had uh, uh america that just put more sanctions on um uh, iran okay all right today you know as we speak today this is what they did man put more sanctions on iran all right which is gonna what uh, uh their uh, um, their economy which is gonna what make them hate America more and more and they, uh, Iran is already on, on top of hating America man okay along with North Korea along with China along with Russia man okay it says for nation shall rise against nation uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom and kingdom against kingdom man okay and we're seeing it man All right. America is being uh, 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 shown that what is being hated by these other nations man kingdom against kingdom man okay you know? And there should be famines uh -huh. and pestilence. There should be famines and pestilence. Well, we're in the middle of a famine right now, man. A good, a large uh, food shortage is coming, man. Prices is going up, all right? Because why? When something's scarce, the price goes up on it, man, okay? So the reason why these uh, uh, these uh, prices on food, milk, uh, water, you know, your essentials of living are going up is because there's, if we're in scarcity of it. There's not much. Okay, you know, and it said plague, right, brother? It says, uh, and there should be famines and pestilence. And pestilence, man, okay, which means diseases, man. You got people uh, out here actually dying from different diseases, man, and most of them is not from uh, what they would call the COVID-19, man, okay? 
You know, most of it is from, you know, an out, so outside disease, man. Okay, other than uh, the COVID, man. And the Lord's bringing more and more plagues. You still got the bubonic plague that hit the, over there in California with the wildfires going on, okay? All right, which what leads to what? Less air quality, which leads to uh, more problems in the body, okay? You know, anytime you have horrible air quality, the body breaks down in itself, man, okay? You know? It said, and earthquakes in diverse places. And earthquakes in diverse places, man. You know, there's hundreds upon hundreds upon thousands of earthquakes a day, man, okay? You know? Which earthquakes, you know, uh, uh, cause many other things like mudslides, uh, sinkholes, you know, uh, 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 tsunamis, okay, uh, volcanic eruptions, you know. So all these things are happening in the earth right now, man. Okay, and it's why because we're getting closer and closer to our Lord Yahweh Shai, who the word he calls Jesus Christ returning, man. All right. Since all these things are the beginning of sorrows. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Now, when you look up that word sorrows, it goes into what pain uh, of what. My body, mind, and soul. Okay, all right. So these are just the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay, people are about to experience pain on on a whole another level, man. It's gonna be mental, physical at that, of course, but mental and then spiritual. They're all gonna be jacked up, man. All right, you know, not believing in the guys that they once believed. All right, people uh, are gonna denounce uh, a God at all uh, all together, man. It's gonna say, shall there be faith in the earth, man? Okay. The answer is really no, but only the ones that have got faith is the ones that trust in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the elect, okay? You got something, bro? Yeah, 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 get that, bro. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. It said, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? You know, speak down the ears of my people. You're the Lord's people. Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, but the word in calls God and Jesus Christ. You are the Israelites, okay? The words of prophecy. Mm -hmm. The words of prophecy. Which prophecy means what? Pro meaning before and facade means to say, okay? All right, so what? We're telling you of the things that are going to happen in the future according to the Bible, man. All right, and the Bible is the only book that tells you of the things that's going to happen in the future. All right, you ready? So put in thy mouth. Say if you're how about you, you shot. So these words that we're speaking, these are not our words. These are the words of the God of the Bible, man. Okay? The God of the Bible said wars, commotions, uh, uh, pestilence, diseases, okay? Nation rising this nation is going to happen. This is the God of the Bible that's speaking these things, not us. We're just the mouthpiece of the Lord to tell you these things are going to be happening, man. Right? It says, it caused them to be written in paper, mm -hmm. for they are faithful and true. It caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. These are the words written in this paper, man, okay? The words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the word equals God and Jesus Christ, man, okay? You know, all right, in the Bible, okay? You know, and they're faithful and true, meaning everything in this book is gonna come to pass, or has come to pass, man, okay? It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Uh -huh. Fear not what, what people uh, have in their mind uh, to do against you, man, because you have people that wanna harm us for uh, for teaching this truth, man. They have You have people out here who are, uh, want to do um, bad things to the men of the Lord, man. Why? Because we're teaching this word and exposing the wickedness of this place, man. America. It says, let not the incredulity, I mean, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, they speak against thee. And incredulity means what? Unbelief. So don't let the unbelief of the non-believers, all right, the faithless, don't let their unbelief trouble you, man, okay? We don't lose sleep because people don't want to listen um, on to the word, man, okay? And hearken unto Yahweh by Shemesh We don't lose sleep, man. All right, we're just doing our job as the Lord told us to do, man. All right? You know? At the end of the day, all right, what's going to happen unto them, bro? You know what I mean? It says, <clears throat> for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So he said, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So if you want, don't want to believe, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you're going to suffer the consequences for not believing and the Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. All right, the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son, man. Okay? There's going to be a penalty for it. We're not going to pay that penalty, Lord's will. You know? All right? Because we believe. But it says, read that last one one time, bro. Verse 4. It says, For all the unfaithful uh -huh. shall die in their unfaithfulness. For all the unfaithful, all the non believers are going to die in their unfaithfulness, man. All right? You want to say something? Uh, no, really, I was just looking down here, like, they already get prepared for the, uh, what's the name? Oh, I'm sitting. You see the tanks and all that. Mm. The train. And it's the spirit. I can't, I can't see that, but the spirit had you look down there, man. 
So, so what? You're showing you the Lord's already locking this place down. A lot of what? Hell's about to break loose. Because they know when, when that election comes, Jacob's going to wild out. You know? And, you know, depending on who uh, 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 wins the election, man. You know? You know, and we think Trump is going to win, but, you know, who knows? You know? But guess what? Something's going to happen, man. We know something's going to happen real, real soon. And the men of the Lord are not going to be out here on these streets when that happens. But you're going to die in your unfaithfulness because you didn't want to believe, man. You know? And that's the spirit, man. Because the Lord is showing that what? War is coming, right? And we just talk about it. War, what? Commotions of wars, you know? Rumors of wars. And that's what caused civil war, too. There's going to be war on this place on the grounds of America, man. You know? You want that, bro? Say, verse 5. Behold, said, how about Shimei was shot? Mm -hmm. I will bring plagues upon the world. He says, the Lord says, going to be plagues upon the world. Okay? You know? The sword. The sword. Which means any killing instrument, an instrument of war. Now, the brother just said, you know, to the spirit, I'm looking down the street, the train came by with tanks on the train, man. Still going by. Still going by, man. You know? And look, we, we might, you know, because you see on the live stream, it says Fort, you know, Fort Bragg live stream, man. So we're next to an actual military base right now. Okay? You know? Uh, and you know in a military town so what this is gonna be like one of the worst places to be other than DC you know in New York or, you know or LA you know why because what you're next to a, what a place where they can scoop you up easily man you know the sword okay Esau Edom is a sword the wicked is Yahweh by Shemal Shai's sword to punish the wicked of our people two-thirds of the nation of Israel who don't want to get right man the non-believers man okay this is the sword famine Death and destruction. They said the sword, famine, death and destruction. That's all what's gonna be coming to our people, man. Okay? You know, the sword, any killing instrument, instruments of war, all right, famine, lack of bread and water. All right. It said uh what else, brother? Death and destruction. Come. It said death and destruction, man. Okay, you know? So it's gonna be a lot of death, a lot of destroying, a lot of breaking down, because destruction means breaking down, and the Lord's gonna be bringing down the minds of these people, breaking down the infrastructure, breaking down the household. You know, of these people, man, okay? You know, breaking down what their all their morals, man. The Lord's gonna be breaking down a lot of things in this place, man. All right? If you remember, let me just check it. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, mm -hmm. and their hurtful works are fulfilled. It said, wickedness have what? Exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. All right, through Esau, Edom, Sleazy E, all right, and his uh, 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 dynasty of America, man, okay? You know? It what it uh, is caused wickedness to be gone throughout the four corners of the earth at an all time high, okay? You know, and our people are, are joining right along with it, man. Okay, so it's, what's that wickedness is what, bro? It says, <clears throat> for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. All right? It said, what well, it's overflowing at this moment, man. Okay, and it says that in um uh, the, I believe it's First Maccabees when the Edomites got into power. All right, guess what? Evils multiplied on the earth. Wickedness has what? Reached a whole nother level, man. Okay, you know? And guess what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two-thirds of you, you joined yourself unto Esau, man, uh, in his ways, man. All right? Yeah, as the scriptures say, you know, as Lord Yahweh should I say, you are as your father the devil, man. Okay? You know? Esau, Edom, man, you're just like him, man. So you, what? your wickedness has touched the heavens too, man. The Lord is not playing with you no more, man. All right, you and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Uh huh. Therefore, say if you how about me, I was shot. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. The Lord is now holding his tongue no more as touching their wickedness, man. That's why you have Yahweh by Shema Shai, but the one he calls God and Jesus Christ, have his men out on the highways and byways throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Starting off with Apostle Elsa, a great millstone to the men down like us, man. You got brothers over there in Jamaica, and Germany, man, and in the Philippines, in China, man, okay? And in, in Vietnam, you know, in Japan, man, and in the South America, man, Mexico, all over the United States, man, England, uh, 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 Ireland, man, all these places around the earth, man, throughout the full of the earth, you have the men of the Lord preaching the words of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, man, all right? Which they have, it's like in verse 8 again, I will, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, uh -huh. which they profanely commit. Which they profanely commit, man. Everything that they commit is what? Against the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, what the Lord ordered us to do, you know? How to treat the earth, man, okay? How to govern the people, man, okay? All right? How to raise your children. All these things, man, okay, that uh, uh, help build up the earth, especially the people of the earth, they're not doing, man, okay? 
You know, you got uh, uh, people into homosexuality, bestiality, transgenderism, uh, 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 um, zoophilia, pedophilia. You got all types of madness going on on this earth, man, and people are just okay with it. Lackluster. Only thing they're going to do is uh, send a tweet out about it, man. Okay? All right, but this is the real work out here that the Lord is uh, putting forth is changing what's going on on the earth, man. All right? Going out here and teaching the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, telling so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to turn back to their power, their God, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ, man. All right? Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Just have, neither will the Lord will suffer as have us dwell in uh, the, the wickedness, our people, okay? You know, which they said they wickedly exercise, meaning what they have fun in it, it's sport to them, man, okay? You know, the Lord's not gonna have our people in this condition much longer, man, okay? You know? It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the righteous, I mean, yeah, and it's lucky. And the souls of the just complain continually. He said, and the souls of the just are right, complain continually. Meaning what? Who? The elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay? You know, because the just right now are, are, are the elect. Because uh, the just of was supposed to be what? The whole nation of Israel. But even our people, you know, they're complaining to a T to a, you know, to a certain extent. <clears throat> but it's not to turn on this world over to the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're, we're asking the Lord to come back and have the right rulership over the earth, man. Okay? You know? You want to say something? No. They can... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Two-thirds, they, uh, they just wasn't... They, uh, they want equal rights. They want to be equal yep. to people that we greater than. That's right. But the Lord, he's coming back. The dog going to put us in rulership. That's right. And, hey, and, and hey, that's what you should want, man. Okay? We're better than these heathens, man. We went in that till weeks ago, man. Okay? You know, how we're better than these heathens. You want to be average, man. Guess what? You're going to die average here, man. All right, we're peculiar. We're a peculiar treasure unto the Lord. So therefore, what? We're above these people, man. All right? So you should have that ruling class mentality, man. You know? You know? A lot of people don't want to, so they're going to have to uh, die in, in, in their wickedness here, man. Okay? You know? Here, I'll go to 2nd Ezra uh, uh, 9, and I'll uh, start at verse, uh, uh, I believe it's verse 9. You know? Because the Lord's saying, well, our people, they have a chance to get right, you know, but they're not hearkening to the words of the Lord, man. So guess what? They're going to have to die in a horrible fashion. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Let's start at 8. Let's start at 8. This is 2nd Andrews chapter 9, verse 8. Let's start at 7. And everyone that should be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. Hey, everyone that shall be saved, showing that what? No one's saved, man. All right? Just because you go up in these churches, and you know, brothers, I can always turn it around real fast, you know? Let's see if I... If I turn it around real fast, you'll see we're in front of a church right now, man. Okay? You're not saved by being up in them churches, man. Okay? And that's just the truth. All right? Right? So our people, what? You're not saved up in this church. It says, what? Read that one more time. It says, Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse seven. It says, and everyone that shall be saved, that shall be saved, meaning what? It's gonna happen. That means you're not already saved, all right? You know what I mean? It shall be. I mean, shall be able to escape. It shall be able words. to escape. What are you escaping right now? You ain't escaping nothing. There's no, there's no death and destruction going on. So what are you escaping, man? What are you saved from? Okay? Not a damn thing. You're living your best life here in your best life here in America, man. All right? Nope. Be able to escape by his works mm -hmm. and by faith. And by faith, his works and faith that a hey, vocab Malone, you know, <clears throat> showing that what? We have to have this works of being out here uh, along with our faith, man. We always say that, man. That's a faith thing, but what reason why we're out here, all right, is to prove to the Lord that we truly believe in him, man. Okay? That we believe in his words. That we are, what, are obedient to him. Man. Okay? You know? Whereby ye have believed. Now, wherein you have believed, what? If you have works, along with the faith, man. Shows that you truly believe, man. That's how you're going to be saved, man. That's how we're going to be saved out of America through our works and belief in Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. Brothers out here doing the work diligently, week in and week out, on the weekends and the weekdays, man. Okay? You know? It says shall be preserved from the 
I mean, slack it. Shall be preserved from said peril. Shall be preserved, man. Or something's preserved means to be saved from being tainted, from being harmed. What are you? What is in harm's way right now? Nothing. All right, but we're coming into a time where harm and and horror and and hurt is gonna be at around each corner, man. Okay. And only the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and Israelite foreigners are gonna be protected. Those that will serve you, how about Shemal Shai, will works in faith, man. You know, even down to the women, man. You serving your man, uh, uh, you know, in, in the faith, man. The man that's in the faith, man. Okay. You know, you serving the man and doing your job as a woman, children being obedient to their parents. All right, guess what? They're going to be saved, man. You know, through their faiths and works, man. Okay. And she'll, and she'll see my salvation in my land mm -hmm. and, with, and within my borders. I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. The Lord has made them holy from the beginning, man. Okay. The Lord's going to save them, all right, with the chariots. With chariots being, uh, being shown up at an all time high. Brothers have been posting up videos. And when we say chariots, you know, if you don't know, they're the UFOs that the white man talks about, man. So called white man talks about, man. Those are the chariots or vehicles of the Lord. And he's going to deliver us out of them, man. Out of America with, man. He's going to beam us up into them chariots, man. Okay. If you believe, then hey, that's a good thing. If you don't, then so what, man? Okay. Verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful, pitiful case. Then shall they be in a pitiful case. What? The ones, the non-believers, okay, the ones that didn't have works, that didn't have faith, okay, that didn't believe. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Why, brother? Which now have abused my ways. Which now have abused the ways of the Lord, man. Uh, you abused the what the mercy of your how by Shemel Shai and not getting yourself right with the Lord, man. Okay, you know, you mock the prophets, you mock the Lord. Okay, and guess what? These things, these death and destructions are going to happen to you, and it's going to be strange calamities, man. Okay, and they then which have cast them away despitefully. Oh, well, you cast the words of your by Shemel Shai for the word, and he calls God in Jesus Christ away despitefully. You hated these words when brothers correct you, told you to stop being shrimp pork, crab, lobster, you ate another pork sandwich right in front of the men of the Lord, man, all right? You was eating, you, that same night, you chefed up some shrimp, okay? You chefed up some crab, okay? You know, eating all abominations. We told you to stop committing adultery the next moment you went to go mess with Tyrone's baby mama, man, okay? You know? You told you to stop smoking, or right, you lit up the biggest blunt that night, man, okay? Well, you just, you just cast these words to spice flee, you know, away from you, man, okay? You know? It says... And they that have cast away, I mean, cast them away spitefully, mm -hmm. shall dwell in torment. Shall dwell in torments, man. See, the Lord's not only just going to kill you, all right? Because that's just too easy. Just like an ass with If the Lord just, you know, uh, took everything away from you and gave you no ass with it, that's too easy. You really didn't learn nothing, okay? But no, but with that ass with what? It's like, what, a good two, two to five minutes? You know, you think it in fleshly terms, you know, get that, you know, get in the belt to the, to the legs or to the backside. That's like torture in a way, you know? Because what, you're feeling constant pain for a long period of time, okay? You know? So that's what the Lord's gonna do. For a duration of time, you're gonna be what? Feeling nothing but pain and sorrows, man, okay? Before you die, okay? It says, for such as in their lives have received benefits. All uh right, -huh, what? America gave them what? Section 8 housing, all right? Gave them WIC, you know? Uh, uh, food benefits, man, all this stuff, man, that they got a good job, okay? Because all these things that this place gave you, the benefits, what, brother? <clears throat> and it says, they have not known me. Mm -hmm. You don't know the Lord, because the scripture says, if you know the Lord, but well, you keep his commandments, all right? And those that say, that don't keep the commandments, they say they know the Lord is a liar, okay? You know, so you don't keep the Lord's uh, commandments to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. They that have loathed my law, which means to hate. You hate the laws of the Lord. You don't even want to attempt to get right. Okay? What shall what, bro? While they had yet liberty. While they had what? That grace period, that mercy period. Because right now we're in a period of mercy with the Lord. Is what? Allowing you to get yourself right. Right? You took that grace period, all right? And you and you uh just neglected it, man. Okay? Yeah, it says, um, it's lucky. And when, and when as yet placed a, I mean, it's like, and 
when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Uh huh. What? We ain't what? You to turn back to the Lord. The Lord opened up his arms for repentance. All right, right now. All right. When the Lord let you, allowed you to repent, what, what did you do, bro? Understood not, uh -huh. but despised it. You, uh, you didn't understand that the Lord was actually having mercy. All right. And, and, are you doing? You know, having mercy. And that you should need to turn back to the God of the Bible, man. Okay. You know? The same must know. It's like the same must know it by death, by pain. There are same ones that what they didn't want to hearken into the words, abuse the time period that the Lord allowed them to uh, get right, to finally repent. He said they shall what, brother? It says the same must know it after death by pain. After death by pain, so it's gonna be a painful death, an agonizing death. Okay, it's not gonna be quick. It's gonna be very, very slow and tedious, man. Torture, man. Okay. This is what the Lord is bringing since you don't want to get right, man. All right? And our people don't realize the magnitude of that statement. God's Bible, by these heathen, is known as what? Alashadja, man. What? A demon-like power, man. Okay? And demons are nothing to be to be uh, a mess with, but when you look at the word demon, it means intelligent. The Lord is about to... Come on, man. An intelligent person, they know how to really get to a person. You know? So that's the how about Shemal Shai. He really knows... Your deepest, darkest fears, you know, what you love, what you hate. He's going to take these things and uh, pressure, apply that pressure to your spirit, man. Okay? You know? And this is the time that we're coming in, man. Okay? What's this, bro? You know, take every six Yeah? Yeah? Uh, we start at verse uh, 18. You know? Second Edges chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. All right, because we're coming to the time where what? The Lord is really about to do a number on our people. Yeah, it says, verse 18, second edge of 16, 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the Beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. Yes, mm -hmm. the power shall stand in fear. So this is gonna be the beginning of wars, you know, the beginning of uh, sorrows. All right, it's gonna be so bad out here that what well, even the elites, okay, that's allowing all this to happen, they're gonna be shaken up and hiding in their bunkers, man. Okay, you know, that's how much death and destruction the Lord is actually gonna bring upon this place, America, man. All right, and our people really don't know the magnitude of this situation. All right, but the men of the Lord, the Lord has uh, uh, endowed us with the vision, man, okay, to see these things, man, all right, and but like brothers always say, just how, like, we might articulate what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven, but it's going to be far more better than what we, words can speak, that's the same thing with the destruction of the Lord, it's like, the destruction the Lord is going to be bringing uh, upon America, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be that much more serious that scriptures say that what, you know, the Lord's judgments are, uh, uh, great and they can't be expressed man okay you know you're just gonna be you just gonna have to see it a lot of things you're just gonna have to see to, to understand what the lord was saying man okay you know death destruction apparitions you know demons popping out of nowhere man you know spirits man people out here uh just cannibalism at all time high man you know eating people it's gonna be crazy out here man okay the beginning of war i mean the beginning of sorrows a great morning mm -hmm. The beginning of famine and great death. That's right. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. Uh huh. What will I do when these evils shall come? They say what? They said the beginning of evils, bad times. And we're living in the beginning of bad times, man. You can really just, you can feel it in the air, you know? You know, there's so much things going on in this earth right now. It's, it's, not, it's so hard to keep up. The Lord is doing multiple, multiple things. Throughout the, throughout the earth right now. Jake is still getting shot down by the police. Jake is still getting jacked up in the hood, man. Shooting less than left and right. People dying. Alright, diseases, man. You know, all these things are happening right now, but the Lord is having that slow uh, uh, rise to climax, man. Okay? You know? It says, Behold, famine. Famine and plague. Mm -hmm. Famine and plague. Uh, it says, Famine and plague. Okay, which famine, what? Lack of Bread and water, okay? Lack of what? Food, okay? Resources to, to keep so you uh, sustained and living, all right? And plague, what? Diseases, calamities, man? You know, uh, uh, 
adversity, okay? Yeah. It says, um, behold, famine and plague, mm -hmm. tribulation and anguish. Tribulation and anguish, meaning what? Hard times and anguish which goes back to the word anxiety. There's gonna, people are going to be not wondering if they're going to live to see the next two seconds. Every second, you're going to be worrying about your life, man. Okay? You know? And the Lord is going to bring that to our people, man. But guess what? With the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, they're going to trust in the Lord. You know, they might not know what's about to happen next, but they're trusting in the Lord that Yahweh Shema is going to protect them and whatever does come their way, man. Okay? Or sent as scourges for amendment. All these things are sent as scourges for amendment. What for you to change your life according to the Bible? Okay? You know? This is what we're telling our people to repent always. Why? Because the Lord is saying, all these things that's going on in the earth right now is for you to know that you need to repent. Turn back. Stop the bullshit, man. You know? Stop the bullshit, man. Stop lying to yourself, man. Okay? You know America ain't shit, man. You know, you know America's not good for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know it. So stop, stop, you know, so stop the cat, stop the lying, all right, and turn back to Yahweh Bashima al Shai, man, all right? You know, stop lying to yourself. It's over with, man. America's about to be destroyed, and our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to return with glory and salvation in his wings, man, okay? Stop lying to yourself and get right with the Lord, but we know two-thirds are not going to do so, man. They're going to what? They're gonna kick it with America until that door is broken down and they get slayed, man. Okay, you know? It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. See, for all these things that's gonna come upon them, they shall not turn from their wickedness. What happened when quarantine happened, man? Our people got worse. Out of all things, you would think, okay, you're stuck in the house, you got more time to think to yourself, you got more downtime to really reflect on how you're acting. All right, the Lord now got you still have an internet so your videos are popping up of the Hebrew Israelites. You would you would think Jake would get right. You know, like, you know what? I need to turn to the Lord. You know? But no, it said, what up? What up? Read us one more time, bro. Verse 20. But from all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. But from all these things, the death, destruction, our people are still not going to turn from their wickedness, man. All right? Showing you that they are hard-headed children. That's why the Lord said what? Why should I stricken thee anymore? The Lord's like, look, I'm done with chastising you. It's a wrap. I got to destroy two-thirds of you, man. Because two-thirds ain't going to get right. Majority of our people are not going to get right. Even if you told them the Lord is coming back tomorrow, they will smoke that joint to the last second. All right? And then burn it out. All right, Lord, I'm ready. Nah, man. Okay? If we, if we allow, if the Lord allowed niggas to get in the kingdom of heaven, man, Niggas will still be plotting on your woman in the kingdom, man. Okay? So Lord's not having that. He's destroying all those that don't want to get right, man. All right? That's why we tell our people. We tell ourselves first. And then tell our people to get right, repent, turn back to Yahweh Shemal Shai. Stop the bullshit. Okay? You know? It says, nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, our people are not even mindful. Like, maybe, maybe this is happening to me because I'm doing something wrong. No, our people don't even think that, man. But the elect, they're thinking that. What, what did I do wrong for me to get in this situation? What is the Lord punished me? The Lord's punished me for doing it because I did something. Let me try to figure it out so I can make it right. That's the mind frame of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay? You know, they're getting right with the God of the Bible, pleasing Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. Okay? Because the Lord said, well, all you got to do is acknowledge your offense and turn back unto him, and he's going to pardon all your iniquities, man. It's very that simple. Stop the bullshit, acknowledge where you went off, and do better, man. Okay, the Lord said he'll forget everything you did in the past, man. Okay, you know, but our people are not going to do so, man. Okay. Verse 21, behold, victual shall be so cheap upon the earth that they should think themselves to be a good case. Because mm -hmm, what? Gas prices might be low, you know, and certain things that, the, you know, commodities might be lower than usual. They think that, what well, everything's good in the world, man. Oh, no, you see that Amazon, Amazon deal? I'm going to buy this joint. Yo, I got a deal right now. They think everything is good because they'll be able to get the things that they want for the low low, man. All right? But in, in reality, what's going to happen, bro? It says, it says, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. And they say, even then shall evils uh, grow upon the earth, man. Bad times, man. But then everything might be looking good, like it's coming back, like the economy's coming back, you know, uh, 
quarantine is not as hard as it was the first couple of months. Uh, the world's going back to normal. More evils are multiplying on Earth, man. You saw in quarantine that what? Jake was getting shot down by the police more than usual, man. Like more than like in the past couple years. Jake died at an all-time high this year, man. You know? You know? You're thinking everything is good, but the Lord said what? Evils increased on Earth, man. All right. This is why we tell the people to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It's apparent that you what that you turn back to the Lord if you want to survive. Is this is a uh, survival uh, thing right now, man? Okay. You know we're trying to survive. You know, because death and destruction is about to come, and, and and if you don't got the Lord, it's a wrap for you, man. Okay. You know. Yeah, something, bro. Uh, no, it was just finishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. finishing. It says sword, famine. In great confusion. It says sword. Remember, let's see, the Lord keep on bringing that up. The sword, what any killing instrument, man. Mainly Esau, Edom, so called white man, is that sword, man. Just let's just, you know, say that what Trump loses the uh, election and stuff. These, yo, these Edomites said that they coming out blazing with guns, man. You know, you know how Esau get down. Got the got the uh, automatic old strapped over him. Got two pistols on the side, a pistol on the back to carry out. Ammo on his leg. They coming out, man. The militias is coming out. Okay, you know. So the Lord is gonna use His sword upon our people, man. And that's Esau, him the wicked, man. Okay. For many of them shall dwell upon. I mean, for many of them that dwell upon the earth mm -hmm. shall perish of famine. So many of them that dwell upon this earth, and we know there's a, a, a the biggest nation is the nation of Israel, man. Okay, you know. With us, just us. Many of us are going to perish, man. Many of our people are going to perish. Okay, why? Because they don't want to turn back to the Lord, man. You know, we're not even counting other heathen nations. They go get caught up in the mix, man. Okay, you know? All right? Okay, we're talking about our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Many shall perish for what, bro? It says perish of famine. Famine? Starvation. Starvation is coming for our people, man. Our people can't go a day without eating, man. Or I'll say more than like two hours without snapping on something, man. You know? The Lord is really about to do a number on our people. Can you hear me, bro? And the other, they escape from hunger. So you escape, escape from hunger. It's like you, bro. You know, you, you escape from hunger. You know, uh, uh, you better eat something or steal some food or whatever. What's the happen to you, bro? It says, and the other, they escape the hunger, mm -hmm. shall the sword destroy. Shall the sword destroy. So you might... Literally, feed your belly, get full. You know, you're doing good for two days, whatever you're at, feeding your family. Or right, you go out to get some more food, and so all of a sudden you get clapped, man. Some dude uh, blows your brains out from the back, man. Okay? You know? Or you get uh, uh, tore up by a lion. Okay? Or, or Esau might catch you in the street, take you, and, and use you use you as food, man. Okay? You know? Because cannibalism is coming too. Okay? So all these things is happening. We're, we're telling you of it. Why, why wouldn't you turn back to Yahweh by Shemal Shai? You know? Our people are just gone in the mind, man. They can't. They can't. The Lord has had the angel to block them from repenting, man. Okay? You know? But the elect, they're seeing all this, and they're trying to know how to survive. The only, only way you can survive in these last times is through Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Okay? You know, can you get uh, Jeremiah 11, 11, bro? Unless you want to say something. So it's Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. Mm -hmm. Evil is upon them, bad times upon who? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Two thirds of you, which is 66.6% .6 majority of you. All right, the Lord is going to bring evil upon you. Okay, what? It says. Which they shall not be able to escape. Which they shall not be able to escape. That's how bad it's going to get out here, man. All right? So much death and destruction, our people are not going to be able to escape the, uh, the, the, the said perils, man. Okay? You're going to be, you know, you, you can imagine it. Jake trying to escape all the hell, you know, just running and stuff. This is going to be everything around the corner for you, man. You know? This is why we tell our people to repent. If you don't want these, this, these things to happen to you, you have to to repent and turn back to the Lord, man. That is the only chance of survival, okay? And I'm saying that very fervently, you know, because it's on my spirit to say it, 
That is the only chance of survival, man. You can only survive with your how about Shemel Shai. If you don't got the God of the Bible on your side in these last days, it's a wrap for you, man. You got a pizza? Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Mm -hmm. See now that I, even I, am he, mm -hmm. and there is no power with me. See, there's no power with Yahweh by Shemar Shai. The Lord is going to be doing all these things. Mm -hmm. I kill and I make alive. The Lord said he kills and make alive. There's no survival. Because the Lord is coming to do the, do the harsh work. So if you ain't on the Lord's side, it's a wrap for you, man. Okay? Like I said, your survival is dependent on the Lord. You know? I wound and I heal. The Lord wounds and heals, man. If somebody get hit by a car right now, and he lives to see the next day, that was the Lord that allowed him to see it. This is why we say you need Yahweh Bashim Al Shah the word because God and Jesus Christ talk to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, our people, man. Alright, because if you don't, you will end up dead. Point blank, period. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Neither is there any that can deliver what out of the Lord's hand. So if you're in the clutches of the Lord, it's a wrath for you. Okay? You don't want to be caught up in the Lord's wrath, man. The Lord says he's becoming what? Yeah. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, meaning what? He's coming inhumane, coming slain, savage-like, man. Okay? So if you don't want to get slain inhumanely, okay? The worst things happening to you, you have to turn back to the Lord, man. Okay? For I lift up my hand to heaven mm -hmm. and say, I live forever. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is doing this thing, man. And how about Shemel Shai? He said, what? It's going to bring evil upon them that they shall not be able to escape. And what else, man? It's uh, Jeremiah 11 11. Therefore, thus saith, the how about Shemel Shai? Behold, I will bring evil upon them. That's right. Which they shall not be able to escape. Which they shall not be able to escape. Okay. And what else, brother? And though they cry unto me, mm -hmm. I will not hearken unto them. So you don't want to hearken unto the Lord? And that time we try to cry unto him, when he brings all the death and destruction, he's not going to hear you. Because why? You didn't want to get right with him. Okay. You know, but those that of the elect that are repenting right now, all right, they're trying to get right with the Lord. Guess what? The Lord's going to hear their prayers. The Lord, the Lord said what? He hears the, what, the prayers of the righteous, man. All right. No, but the prayers of the uh, wicked are abomination unto him. He's not going to hear you, man. So this is why we tell our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to turn back to the God of the Bible, man. Okay? Yeah. Or before it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. So verse 12. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto their gods, unto whom they offer incense, mm -hmm. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. So you might even call into the guys that you serve, man. Okay? All the all the guys that you put uh, your heart and effort into, but guess what? In that time they're not gonna save you. Because remember, none can get you out of the clutches of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. And there's none standing with the Lord. No counsel with them. Man. Okay? So nobody's gonna save you but Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Right? Right, that's why we tell you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you have to repent to be saved, man. You have to repent to survive, okay? You have to repent to survive, okay? Repent and turn back to the Lord that mercy will be showed upon you, man, okay? You know? You want that one? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, that was Second Edges 15, verse 26. It's 10%. So, Second Edges 15 and 26. For you, how about Shim Yahweh Shai know of all them that sin against him, mm -hmm. and therefore deliver him he them to death and destruction. Man, that's plain and simple, man. If you want to sin against Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, he's going to give you over unto death and destruction, man. That is your judgment, man. Okay? All right, we're going to end it off on Luke uh, uh, 31 and uh, uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 20. I believe it's Luke uh, 20. You know when it says um, that you may be able to, be able to escape Luke 28 and uh, 36. Yeah, it might be Luke uh, 28 and 36. Either 28 or 25. I can't remember at this moment. I haven't been there in a little while. But Lord said, "What? If you want to be able to escape, you gotta be in prayer. You gotta be watching the things that's going on. All right? Repent to your how about you outside that you be able to escape the death and destruction." Right?
I know it's a new, new car. There we go. Yep, Luke 21. I said it says 28, but it's Luke 21. Okay. Because you, know? you need to repent, man. All right. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Mm -hmm. Watch ye therefore mm -hmm. and pray always. And repentance is a part of prayer. Okay. So watch what's going on and repent to the Lord. Pray. Pray for, for protection and all. All right. Because what? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all of these things that shall come that shall come to pass, mm -hmm. and to and to stand before the Son of Man. That's right, man. You want to be found worthy to escape, because you know, two thirds are not. The Lord's gonna bring evil upon them. That they shall not be able to escape. So repent, turn back to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, that you may survive in these last days. Okay. So you know, uh, hopefully this you know is edifying to the spirit of the Lord. You know. All right, before we close out, let's give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. Double honest to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That's all this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that are the folk on earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, we say shalom. Shalom.